There's a touching story that I want to share with you which makes me quite emotional every time I hear it. As the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, approached the end of his life, he visited a graveyard and greeted the souls who lay there. With a heavy heart, he said, we will soon join you, inshallah, and added with sadness, I wish I could have seen my brothers. His companions standing by his side were confused and asked, O Messenger of Allah, aren't we your brothers? We are here with you. His reply was one filled with love and compassion. You are my companions, but my true brothers and sisters are those who believe in me, even though they have never seen me. Can you believe it? Our Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was thinking about us generations upon generations later and had a deep longing to connect with us even before we were even born. This story always touches my heart and I hope it had an impact on you too. This woman shared that she felt bad for reciting Qul Hu Allahu Ahad in every prayer because it was so fast and short. And it made me realize that she just doesn't know the power of Surah Qul Hu Allahu Ahad. The Prophet peace be upon him heard a man reciting Qul Hu Allahu Ahad and he said, it is his right. And the companions responded, what is his right? And the Prophet Sallallahu responded, paradise is his right. Another companion explained that he loves Surah Qul Hu Allahu Ahad because it has the qualities of the most merciful. And so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi told him that Allah loves him. If you recite Qul Allahu Ahad 10 times, Allah will build a house in paradise for you. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi asked the companions if anyone could read one third of the Quran in one night and they basically responded like that's a lot and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi taught them that this surah is one third of the Quran. So if you can pray with longer surahs and experience the joy of longer recitation, of course there's so much reward in that. But if you can't, don't belittle reciting Qul Allahu Ahad. Don't make it for you just because it's fast. Make your intention that you love this surah so that Allah will love you. لبعت المكس فيها بالذهاب الشوق يبقى في وجراب فقير في الحياة من الصحاب ومن يأمن يا دنيا الدواه تدوسين المصاحب في التراب وأعجب من مريدك وهو يدري لأنك في الورى أم العجاب ولولا أن لي معنى جميل رمضان is not just something that we do that is awkward, that disrupts our routine in order to earn treats in heaven. It would be a strange thing for the divine to give us only that. But instead it's an inward journey that leaves a permanent trace on the soul. So Ramadan should not be a step up into a more heavenly space followed by a step down after the Eid, but it should be a step up that enables us to take a further step up the following year. So that as we move on in life, Ramadan becomes a more and more amazing, natural, transformative experience rather than just a circular 